to 530, a story you'll see only on 10. The Hertford Police Department is under investigation for alleged corruption. Good evening, I'm Stephanie Harris. The North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation is handling this case. It revolves around police property that went missing. Property paid for by taxpayer dollars, among other infractions. Only 10 on your side's Jason Marks has details on the investigation and what happens next. Two dozen service weapons missing here in Hertford. Town Council members say an investigation into the police department revealed that's just the tip of the iceberg. We want to say that this council is not trying to hide anything and that we will be very transparent ongoing. As part of that transparency, the Hertford Town Council thought there could be a problem in its police department. Last year, they asked state investigators to look into things and what was found was concerning. After receiving those findings, we began looking into those claims and found that officers have purposely dismantled in-car cameras, not properly using body cameras, and basically doing whatever they wanted. Council members say an audit revealed 25 guns bought to outfit the department's officers were missing. Three have since been returned. The vice mayor tells Tenor Site he believes the missing guns are part of a gun selling ring by officers and other town officials. The last year some guns were ordered that was found not to, should not be on the streets of Hertford and that the council ordered them sent back. Items from the evidence room, such as tasers, were also found to be missing. We will prosecute everybody and some of these guys are still police officers and that is very, very disturbing. The district attorney tells Ted Interside so far he hasn't found any evidence of criminal activity, though the council plans to reach out to the attorney general for help. It still is concerning, though, for residents. So we have a major problem here in Poquimus County, and hopefully we all come together and work things out. I'm looking forward to the truth coming to the surface and that a solution will be found. So what happens now? I'm told council members want to see anyone who had anything to do with the wrongdoing prosecuted to the full extent. That's the latest here in Hertford. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.